What's going on, fellas? We got a video from Cosmic Verse. These leftover women are losing their minds. Use all men in your life. Hi, my name's Eve. I'm 35 years old. I'm five foot ten, and I'm looking for a husband. Catch that. I'll oh. pay five thousand dollars if you find me my husband. In China, women over 30. If you're not married, there's a word for us: leftover women. 25 is what you mean to say. It's 25. They don't consider themselves to be left over. Now they say, I'm single by choice. Anybody else struggling with um, dating after their 40s? Is dating in your 50s really that bad? I just got off the phone with my friend and she's like, I'm done. So women chose the bear and now men are choosing the brick wall and I want to talk. They've chosen the wall because they'd rather be alone. Peace is priceless after all. Kindly subscribe to the channel as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. I think my issue with modern dating is that the idea of a man making a dating profile gives me the ick. Like, you picked up those photos? You wrote those prompts? Okay. And yes, what? I'm single. Dating in Alaska when you're over 40 years old is really freaking hard. Because, I mean, trying to find somebody who brushes his tooth? I mean, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I believe the reason why most women believe they are not average because we have now uh, created the ability to where average women can turn into top-notch women. Yep. Let me explain. Between makeup, um, wigs, Apeware. hair extensions, um, filters, body enhancements, any unattractive woman can turn herself into an attractive woman, where, whether permanent or temporarily. We have the ability to change our look. And because we have the ability to change our look, we think that we are more attractive than we actually are. When really your attraction is mainly based on how you look naturally, right? Because eventually that person's gonna have to see what you look like um, without all of those things on. And that's why men are saying, well, at least give me a baseline of you with no makeup on, no nothing so I can at least see what I'm getting into. And they get crucified over that. And regardless of what you put on um, externally, it's going to come through your kid's DNA. What they're doing is creating a false identity and presenting that identity to the world. Mainly the reason these women are doing that is because they're insecure about how they really look. So they try and find temporary solutions for temporary happiness. And because they have all of these enhancements, they also believe that they're the prize and bash average men. It's actually quite sad that they can't even go outside to get something without having to draw on their faces. Many women over 50 start to feel invisible. You know what she Do you suppose the ones that don't feel invisible are on TikTok? Here's something men need to understand about women over 50. And what's that? We don't care about you. We don't need you. We don't want you. In fact, we really don't want you. We're happy on our own. We're thriving. We're living our best lives despite what you may think or say. We don't have to prove anything to anyone. Right. In fact, leave us alone. Please, block me. I wouldn't care if no men ever commented on my page again for the rest of my life. It doesn't mean we don't love our partners, our brothers, our sons, our cousins, our uncles. But men in general, we don't care. I see men all the time making videos. We love women. I love women. Women are the best. Women don't feel the same. In fact, we feel the opposite. Stay away from us. We don't like you. We don't want you. Yeah. We're going to go have a great day. Look at her face expressions. Instead of her words, it seems like she's crying and dying inside. Exactly. Man, she is trying hard to convince herself of that. Every time she says we, she means I. And she also leaves out, am miserable. I'm 50. And she definitely doesn't speak for me. Exactly. Sounds like she's more bitter than content. I'd happily comply with and avoid. No need to ask twice. I mean, just look at this woman. Look how happy she is. Happy enough to get on the camera to let men know that she's living her best life. As if any man had asked her. Happy people don't usually come on the camera to explain how they're thriving. And how happy they are. They just live their lives in peace. 
This woman is probably deeply hurting on the inside, but trying to hide the pain with those fake smiles. Two or three divorces And because later. of her experiences, she's turned bitter and angry at all men. Hi. Can someone please explain to me how Australian dating rules work? Because I don't get it. I do not understand. I feel like if you say one wrong thing, you're left on red. <laughs> and then the amount of dates that have been organised and then the guy's just never texting me again has never happened anywhere else in the world. And every woman I speak to has the exact same horror stories about Australian men. Someone please elaborate. I have a question for um, the men. What the f***? That's all. The other day I was talking with a friend about how men in their like late 30s and even 40s mm -hmm. will date a woman for like one to two months and then break up with them and tell them, well, I just wasn't ready for a relationship. Right. And my friend was like, how are these men not ready for a relationship? They're single and in their 30s and 40s. And it dawned on me that these men are not ready for a partnership. As women are standing up and requesting more from men in relationships, what these men are actually saying is that I am ready for a relationship. I'm ready for a relationship with traditional values where a woman takes care of me. Hmm. You weren't taking care of me. You want a partnership. I'm no, you're not reciprocating anything. There's not a lot that you're actually doing. You're just nagging. So I don't think I'm ready for a relationship with you. I'm not willing to show up and meet you halfway. These men are ready for relationships. They're not ready for partnerships because they don't want to do the work to meet someone halfway. And they want a woman who's just going to cater to them like their moms. I mean, a relationship is there is a partnership. It's not a relationship if it's one sided. <laughs> so there's that. That's incorrect. And frankly, madam, this is your fault. How are you dating someone for that long and don't notice the signs earlier on? These women are able to spike that man's interest, but fail to keep the man. It has to do with them not being feminine, and they're just overly masculine women. These women will say one thing, but then their actions says another. The other could be after dating you for two months. He just sees you as a liability. The brutal truth about dating leftover women. Majority of women 35 and older appears to have matching tendencies that lead to irreconcilable differences. Smart men like Leonardo DiCaprio seems to understand this quite well. So women who manage to hit 35 and never marry are leftover women. You've deviated every essence of femininity. When a man tells this woman, don't do that. She says, I do what I want. You're not my father. When a man says, stop, you will hurt yourself. She says, I can handle myself. When a man says, no, thanks. I don't date single moms. She asks, do you not want kids? When a man says, let's have kids, she says, I don't want to have kids. When a man says, I got to give my baby mother some money for my kids' school clothes, she says, no, child support is enough. When a man marries this woman with kids, she says, we are a package deal and persuades you to adopt him. When a man says, I want you to fit in my system, she says, I already have a system. When a man is a man, she is not compatible. And that is the brutal truth. I'm tired of leftovers. They keep demanding a relationship, but I don't see any benefits for me. All of them are incredibly unpleasant. So right, if a woman isn't married by 26 to 29, she's spoil. She's now entitled. She's not worth it, <laughs> etc. She's toxic, and I should keep well away from her. I am hey, keeping them on thin ice. <laughs> you, you ain't 30, you done. <laughs> older than 35. No kids, never married, not interested in men anymore, happier than ever. We are happy, not leftover. Cheers to being a leftover woman. Cheers, meanwhile. I'm enjoying my life. The reality is, if a woman is 35 plus and still unmarried, she's most likely ran through. And it got to that point because these women were never dating with the intention of finding a man to settle down with. They only start seeking husbands whenever their lives gets tough. Right, that That's crazy. when they prioritize relationships. By that time, that woman is looking for a retirement plan, not a husband. She wants someone who she can leech off of. All these women commenting and getting angry are just proving his point. Women who aren't leftovers are in marriages. This is a question for the men out there. TM Rister writes, 
ask any man that's 50, would he rather be with a 30-year-old or the 55-year-old? 98% would say the 30-year-old. That's a fact. I'm very curious. It doesn't bother me either way, but I'd love to know. So men out there that are over 50, would you purposely choose or only want a woman? If you could, if you could choose any, any mate, would it be a woman 30 if you're at least 50 years old? I see this woman a lot. Um, I actually seen her crying one time about not being able to find somebody. And it's so disheartening because she does not look bad for an older woman. It looks like she takes care of herself, but it seems like she can't find anybody. It makes me wonder, did you have somebody and that didn't work out? What was the reason for it? Is there something that you're actually hiding behind that? Like my standards are up here at the umpteenth level. Is it not? I don't know. But I always wonder that every time I see her because certain people appear nice, but they don't have anybody. You're like, man, how is this happening? How are all the women out here? Well, not all of them, but how are a lot of them out here getting stuck in this position? What is it? What say you? Hi, my name's Eve. I'm 35 years old. I'm five foot 10 and I'm looking for a husband. Catch that. I'll pay $5,000 if you find me my husband. I went viral two months ago about looking for a husband and being willing to pay $5,000 to the person who recommends, refers, finds him for me. So what's my criteria? I'm five foot 10. I want him to be taller and I'm not going to negotiate on that fact. Mm -hmm. I have a career. I want him to have one and be passionate about it. I don't care what the career is. I'm open to long distance. I'm open to age. I'm open to religion and ethnicity. I describe my perfect person in a nutshell. It's that charismatic, perfect wedding date who's going to both work the room without you, but come to check in, dance with you and your grandmother, grab a beer, but also engage in meaningful conversation on a variety of topics. Pension for a British man or a Southern man. She talking about, she talking about a movie that she didn't see. That's what she described it. You don't speak any other languages though. So I'm going to need him to speak English. Mm. I'm going to need him to want children, love sports and love animals. You can email me or DM me, but please, please don't email my work. The way these women are asking, where are all the good men at? We're going to have more and more women paying for husbands once they hit the wall. Mm. But 5,000 might be a little too small, especially if you want a high value man in your life. Mm. And for a woman to be paying for a husband, she has got to be undesirable, meaning she's a red flag. Dating is a thing. The 5,000 is an entry fee for these matchmakers. They charge a 10, 15, 20,000. <laughs> 30 year old in Australia is so hard. I lived in London for seven years. Guys would come up to you in bars, like come up to you on the street, ask for your number, like not even in a creepy, annoying way, in a way that it was like flattering or like it just is like normal human communication. Dating in Australia, not only is the dating pool so small because there's less people, I guess, the amount of effort that Australian guys put in is insane. It's just nothing. Like they'll just, they just want to message you for months and never ask you out and never meet up. And I'm like, what's your aim here? Like, do you just want a pen pal? Do you just want a friend to message when you're bored? Like, let's hang out. Let's go to the beach because there's beaches here. Let's go get a drink. Like there's, you could literally just do anything. Now I just have like 50 guys on my Instagram in my DMs messaging me and like replying to my stories. I'm like, you're my fans. I'm not yeah. dating you. You're just a fan. To be blunt, it's probably because she's not attractive enough. Basically, she got friend zoned. It's kind of rare for that to happen to women, but this here is an example. And efforts goes both ways, just like the phone works both ways. If you want to go out and do something, why don't you ask the man yourself? It's just a typical case where this woman wants to be chased. Sorry, honey, but girl. the men are dialing back from that. Mm -hmm. If you are dating a girl who is 25 or even, frankly, 24, you better appreciate and worship her because she is spending her last Leonardo DiCaprio year <sighs> dating you. Right. Well, guys, I think you finally succeeded. I think I have lost the absolute last shred of hope I had that there's still good men left in the world. Mm. Just went on a date. I thought it was going well. Talked nonstop. Not me. Back and forth for uh, over an hour. And then all of a sudden he had to 
take a call from a client. <laughs> and he never came back. And I got stuck with a $90 tab for his beers and pizza. So, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. Be busy at work. 4B movement all the way from here Had on to out. Do it. Had to you do guys it. suck. It's unfortunate what happened, Here but guys are victims of that treatment as well. Men get used on dates for free meals way more than women do, yet they still go out there and try to find their match. It's, it's a crazy to say 4B movement and you don't even know what it is just because you're angry. You can say something on the internet and come back and be like, oh man, I didn't mean that, and take the video down. People have already commented on it because you, you're saying stupid stuff on the internet. Sad reality that some men feel like they're just seen as a free meal ticket or an ATM rather than being valued for who they are as individuals. I'm not saying what happened was right, mm -hmm. but she just got a taste of a man's reality. The good guys are out there. They're really not hard to find. If a woman ghosts you, you do not need to ask for an explanation or make her regret her decision. Just move on quietly. That's right. Because you don't need to prove anything to someone who's not truly into you. That's right. This is going to ruffle some feathers, but I truly believe being a woman in your early 30s and single is truly the hardest. Societal pressure is at an all-time high to be in a relationship. Most of your friends are going to be in relationships. They're going to be married. They're going to have kids. So you're going to feel that pressure even more. And sometimes you're going to feel extremely isolated. Constantly deal with people asking you about your relationship status. Why aren't you dating? Who are you dating? The fear starts to kick in that you're running out of time. Pressure to settle for someone who might not actually fit the things that you're looking for. There's such a limited pool of men that are actually available. Most 31 year old single men haven't really done the work. Jesse from Summer House, for example, he's going to jump from one girl to the next because he's tall, probably has a good <laughs> job, lives in New York. The so men that are in their early 30s are not really an option for us. She just based men and what they be doing on somebody that she just <laughs> Or somebody that she didn't see on TV. <laughs> some, of these, some of these wild modern women, man, just I don't want to say dumb, but come on, that really. And dating older, they're typically creepy, or they just want a trophy wife. And dating younger, they're just mentally not there. Probably aren't looking for the same things. It's right. so challenging to manage a career, struggling to navigate the dating scene, actually find a meaningful connection. Then you also hit this point when you're in your 30s where you're really secure in knowing what you want, actually okay being alone, but you're worried about people labeling you as undesirable or unsuccessful because of your single relationship status. Like you're missing out on experiences that you would have if you did have a Partner. Admittedly, I am a little bit fixed in my ways when it comes to my routine. I, my I know, we know. You sit here talking stupid. We know what you talk about. It's just dumb. Twenties, I was a bit more spontaneous with my day to day, and you're going out a lot more. So as yeah. of right now, I am not dating. I am just focusing on my friendships, my career, and me, and that feels right. Well, it is true that dating is hard for women in their thirties or older. And men are well advised to try and stay away from those women because they're usually bringing trauma and baggages along with them. Another reason why these women can't get into relationships is because they've already skipped over the guys who would date them seriously in their 20s. Basically in their prime, they prioritize all the chads, but then later on pay the consequences. Another reason is these women are looking for perfection. A man can have everything but that one thing, and she will still say, it's not enough for me. If these women are really worried about building families, it is something to do earlier on. Being single and trying to find companionship over 50 we know is difficult. The struggle is real. My girlfriend, so happy for, was over 50 and finally found someone. Unfortunately, his children are less than accepting of the relationship. Mm. And I feel so bad because it's really put a strain on things. I just wish that the adult children could at least try to embrace it. Life is too short. No one's trying to replace your mother or your father, nor could they. Just try. I want to say that if I remember correctly, she was a widow, so I, I ain't 
I ain't going to do too much picking on her. You think that as a woman ages, dating becomes easier or harder for her? Harder. Harder, but easier because we know what we like versus what we don't like. So you have even higher standards as you age. <laughs> you see one still in delusional land. It's one still delusional. The other telling the truth. But the one uh, I'm going to hold on to delusion as well. I'm going to cope as, as long as I can. Absolutely. But you are also going for the top tier guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you think that those top tier guys are going for women in your age category no. or younger women? No. Ooh, that's a tough one. No, it's not. Um, it depends how old they are, but I feel oh. like men go through a stage where they date younger and they realize that was a terrible decision because uh. it's like, I wouldn't want to date my younger self. <laughs> but like True. me now, I think I'm, I'm a pretty stand up individual. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that as a woman ages, it dating becomes harder for her? We get pickier and we realize we realize our worth and how much we have to put up with and what birthing a child actually is when we hear about all of our friends that have children. What? It's a lot of work and it's just like, I think we also find ourselves. Like once you find yourself and you really become comfortable with just being by yourself and being, I'm an independent woman, then you just, it doesn't matter. Interview. Interview's over. It's done. Gee, I mean, I was hoping there was there was hope. I was one there to be hope for her, but she just ruined it. She just went it. She was on the right path, but then her friend knocked her right back into delusion land. The moment they don't get the looks or attention they used to get, it gets harder. It has nothing to do with being picky. When they're younger, their options are endless. That changes with age. The realization of their value is weird because it's always been there. My brain is hurting. They get older and they want higher standard man. Seriously? Dating a younger woman was a terrible decision. Now I'm ready to make that same decision again. Can't help it. One thing we've learned here is the fact that their delusion don't age out. Only they do. And women work backwards. Why do they think their standards should be higher when they're older versus when they're younger? It's like a single mom who got pregnant and says, Now, I'm going to look for a good man. Finding that good man should have been your top priority. It's crazy how they say they're going for top tier men. I don't think some of these women understand, even when you look at actors and actresses, there's a lot of dudes that pick a woman that is actually doing something. They pick the woman that is actually similar or close to their level from what I've seen. Say, for instance, if you've got George Clooney, I'm working rooms where you've got to learn how to talk. You've got to know how to talk to people. You've got to be a powerful individual to be in those rooms. And so his wife would seem like that type of person. Same with Jeff Bezos and the woman that he's with now. I'm not saying that she's a stand up woman or whatever you want to call her. But she knows people. She's been in those circles. There's another guy. Uh, I forget his name. George something. George Lucas, I think it is. His wife, when she gets in the room, she has things to talk about. A lot of these modern women don't have anything to talk about. But yet they want to be in the same rooms with these celebrities and the athletes talking about nothing. Just looking there and drink, looking, sitting there, drinking a cocktail. And some of them, some of them ain't even that cute. And after all this time, they've been unable to lock one down. It says a lot. They will keep chasing this top tier man until they find themselves heading into their loneliness. I don't know who needs to hear this, but sis, if you want a man, you have to go outside. I'm speaking to myself too. Period. And we'll end it there. You need to be thinking critically and you know it. I ain't going to go into it, make better decisions, ask better questions. You do the work just like you want a man doing the work. And I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway, it's a good video from Cosmic Verse. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, you guys watching. That's just my opinion. To the next video, I'm out.